How's it going? If you're new here, my name is Sean. I'm a full-time clothing eBay reseller. And today I have a mystery box to share with you guys. I had a viewer of the channel send me this box of 20 items. Now, it says 15 dozen eggs, so if it is 15 dozen eggs, that's probably worth it too. But I'm hoping it's some pretty good clothes that we can resell on eBay. I have not opened it yet, so we're gonna do it live on camera and you guys are gonna see exactly what I got. He said he's gonna send 20, let me know what I wanna pay for it, and we would work out a deal from there. So let's get straight into it. All right, first item. I'm really excited. I've bought a couple boxes like these in the past and they did not turn out. One of them was a complete waste of time. The other one, I kind of broke even, maybe made a little bit of money, but this one, hoping to make some decent profit. It's packaged pretty tight too. All right. First item, we've got a North Face puffer. This is a women's. It's got some uh, like embroidery down here, maybe custom, but still it's kind of a nice puffer. It's a good color. It's a women's large. So we'll put that in the pretty good pile. I'm gonna make two piles, probably like items I would pick up and then items that like I really wouldn't pick up, but I think most of these are gonna be profitable. All right, next up, we got a Patagonia hoodie. It looks kind of small. So yeah, it's a medium, but maybe it's shrunk down a little bit or it's possibly a kid's medium. And it doesn't look like it has the drawstring for the hood, but still, you know, Patagonia is a really good seller. I've sold kids tops like, um, I don't know if it's the better sweater or what, but I've sold some of the kids ones for like 40, 50 bucks, but a sweater like this, I'll put it like on the side of like the lower end side. Uh, the North Face I would put probably like mediocre to the higher end. Next up, we have this J Crew 100% cashmere. This is a long sleeve green. It's an XL, so really good size. And it's 100% cashmere, so this is a really good piece. All right, so right here, this is probably one of the better pieces, and he did tell me about this one he was gonna put in the box. This is Rock Revival, and you can see this back patch is still here with all the letters, so that's really important. You wanna make sure that the little button covers are here and all these little studded pieces, because those typically fall off. And this is a size 34, the slim boot cut. So this is a tremendous piece. This one is likely almost as profitable as those three pieces we already went through. So this is like a top tier piece right here, so really excited about this. When you get these kind of boxes, you hope that there's a piece like that in there that can pay for like some of the items that may only break even. Okay, so we got a Peter Millar here. This is a size large. This is a flannel. I actually haven't found many Peter Millar flannels. It's, you know, it's, it's green and blue, so it's like a decent flannel color. I think the red and black, the buffalo print uh, plaid, that's probably one of the better flannels, but Peter Millar flannel, I bet you this will do pretty well. Next up, what do we have? Okay. This is a Foot Joy Dry Joyce, and it does have a, uh, what is that, Martfield National. So if it has golf course related stuff embroidered on it, it doesn't do terrible. I mean, ideally you wouldn't want to have any of it, but this is a really cool green and black color. It's a size large, so really happy about this. This can sell anywhere from like, you know, 30 to 40 bucks. This is G-Star. So I've picked up a few G-Stars in the past. This is a short sleeve button shirt. The G-Star I picked up, it was like a denim, long sleeve denim button shirt. But uh, you know, G-Star is not too bad, I guess. I, I don't really pick it up or sell it very often, but I know that denim piece sold. So for all these items, we're just trying to get them sold. You know, like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to make profits on each one of them and at the very least break even. Something like that, kind of on the lower end, but still, you know, you get like the rock revivals and then you get pieces like that to kind of balance it out. Here's a white piece. This is a Hilu Haiti made in Hawaii. So I don't pick up a lot of these, but this has really good prints on it. It's got that nautical theme. It's white, which you gotta kind of be careful with white. So it's a size large. So decent piece here. And now that summer's picking up, this should sell pretty well. Next up, we got another one of those G-Stars. So this is a size medium, and this is more of like your uh, picnic plaid look, the gingham plaid with the red and white. So I'm gonna have to run comps on the ging on the G Star just to see um, how well they do, but you know I kind of expect 20, maybe 25 bucks for something like that. All right, we got something here. This is pretty interesting. This is a Grizzol, Grizzol, Grizzos, Grizzos size large. It kind of has like that seersucker feel to it. Let's see what the material is. So yeah, this is 60% linen and 40% silk. So I believe this is like a women's blouse piece and definitely gonna run comps on it, but it looks kind of 
I don't know, it almost has like that pilgrim type look to it. So at least the material's good on it. I'm sure it'll do well. I'm definitely gonna have to do some research. This person's in a different part of the country than me. So like some of these brands, I just don't see. And I'm gonna have to do a little bit of learning on it. But you know, if he comes across it a lot and it sells, it's gonna be good. Here's something I come across quite often. This is just a Carhartt short sleeve button shirt. It's a good size. It's a 2XL. You know, I don't pick up a lot of these, but um, they sell decent enough. Not the fastest movers, but they will move. I'm just glad I don't see any pieces that like I absolutely wouldn't buy. You know, I definitely would buy these pieces. We've got another Peter Millar here. It's a long sleeve button shirt. This is another Gingham plaid, the blue and um, kind of gray look to it. So when it comes to Peter Millar, I'm usually picking it up if it's like uh, summer comfort or if it has like a certain material. This one does have some silk. So you can put, it's 85% cotton, 13% silk, 2% spandex. I think that's really important when you're picking up some of the more common Peter Millars because you have the ability to put silk blend in the title. That's gonna help this sell. If it was just 100% cotton, it's really not on my list to pick up. But because it has the silk, it's gonna be okay. Here's an Untuck It shirt. Untuck It has kind of fallen a little bit from grace, but it's still a solid seller, especially in the better sizes. This is an extra large, and it has some, it's made of nylon and elastane, extra large. Really clean piece though. I don't see any issues with these. You don't see any buttons missing. Source definitely put their best foot forward, which I can really appreciate that. This is a brand I've not heard of. This is uh, La Mode, Lady La Mode. And it's got the Honda Classic embroidery on front, so. Uh, it says Active Sportswear Los Angeles. Yeah, I've never come across this. It is new with tags though, so I guess that helps, but it's it's um, kind of customized. So pretty interesting here. It looks like it's a golf brand. So official license of the LPGA. So this must be the lady uh, PGA. I don't know. So that, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, we'll have to run comps and see. I probably should have put like a, a, like a run comps pile and then the other ones not run comps, but for next time I'll know. Right here, we've got a Supreme t-shirt. It says Made in USA. Now, I don't know much about Supreme. This is the first time I've ever come across one. It's got this little patch at the bottom. Interesting. So it says, middle finger to the world Supreme. Okay. That's a size medium. I don't really wear white shirts though, but it says Made in USA, 100% pre-shrunk cotton. So kind of cool. You know, I'll look comps up on that. I think Supreme's like a street brand possibly. I know it was really big for a while there, but... Um, that would be a cool one to look up. Ah, uh, we got some Mickey Mouse here. Looks like we got some Mickey Mouse. This is um, just a blue shirt with the Mickey on it. Walt Disney Productions. And it's got a little bit of like, you know, breakup in the, in the toes here and like throughout the print. But it is on the beefy tag. And it's an XL, 100% cotton made in USA. So I'm not a huge Disney guy, but I can imagine this is gonna garner like at least $20. Pretty sweet, maybe more, but probably about 20 bucks. Okay, we got another Peter Millar. So this one is 100% cotton, just like a standard polo, blue striped. It is in really good condition though. I don't really see any issues with this. Sell through on these kind of items are a little bit slower, but it's just kind of part of it whenever you get a box like this. Okay, this, <laughs> this brand I definitely can't read or pronounce. Uh, you guys can help me out in the comments below. I have never found this brand, actually. It looks like it's French. Saint Yves Saint Laurent. Laurent uh, size medium. So pretty nice. It's like a little, you know, long sleeve bud shirt. And I sell a lot of those. Let's see what the material is. Don't see the tag there. Here it is. No, I guess it's kind of faded off on this one. Yeah, we'll check the comps. It does have a pretty good feel to it, though. So maybe it's pretty well made. It's a size medium. Put this in the lookup pile. Coming to the end here, we've got another Peter Millar. So yeah, this is the Summer Comfort XL. This is definitely one I would pick up. It does have an embroidery here, you know, and you definitely want to put that there's like an embroidery on the front. And it's a small one, so it's not like a giant one. And as long as it's not like a company logo, you know, as it's not like Rocky's Concrete uh, Construction Company, as long as it doesn't have anything like that, but it's you know, this is just kind of like a lion crest, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you just want to keep it simple and, and golf related and these will sell for you. And now that golf season's picking up, these are gonna sell faster because I picked up some through the winter and they just weren't moving as quick, but I'm starting to see board shorts and, and golf attire.
pickup. Okay, so we've got a Polo Ralph Lauren. I pick up a ton of this, and this is the silk and uh, cotton blend. It's an XL and brown, so pretty nice here. You don't really see a lot of like brown shirts out there, but there definitely is a demand for it. It just may not move as fast. When you go outside of the main colors, black, blue, gray, white, and start picking up some of the purples and greens and orange and browns, sometimes they can go for like a couple dollars more than those standard colors. But the sell through, I'll just have to check to see how quick it's gonna move. All right, last item. We're at the last item and I'm really excited about it. It looks like it's another Ralph Lauren. And this one is made in USA, 100% cotton and it's the XL. And this is that um, plaid that's like really in demand. This is the green and blue. Uh, they have different names for it. I don't know if it's like, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but it's definitely a desirable print and it's like the vintage one made in USA. So really, really good piece. I'm really excited about this box. I think it was a success. I'm gonna have to get the gentleman paid out. Yeah, pretty awesome to have inventory come to you. So uh, the way I acquire this was I put out YouTube videos and you know they saw it and they decided to reach out to me. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. If I were you guys wanting to look for something like this, I would find either somebody who like runs stores that sell clothes like boutique shops or like buy sell trades, anything like that, and just start asking them you know about their clothes or maybe find somebody that has like storage lockers. Because if they come across storage lockers, they'll have clothes that maybe they don't want to process. And you can also get, get the items from them in like bulk, kind of like this deal here. I hope you guys enjoyed the mystery box. It's a little outside the norm for the channel. Usually I do like my sold videos, but I think it was pretty cool. I may show more if you guys have good uh, response and good comments to this one. Let me know what your favorite pieces were. Mine was the Rock Revival jeans. I think those are going to be the top sellers here. Even some of the lower quality stuff, I'm still happy about... Um, what that what that's going to be because i think i can still make some good money on that so hope you guys enjoyed watching i'll see you in the next one bye